Hey gang, we're back with a new tips and secrets of Joomla tutorial. Today we're going to look at the language overrides available in Joomla 2.5 and 3.0. Uh, this is a feature that a lot of people don't know about, so let's jump in and check it out. So right now we're looking at a K2 page for our latest template we're building, Polaris, which is an education template. And right here I've got the uh, super user and latest from super user. But I'd like to change this latest from super user to courses from super user so we can use the user here as the person who is doing the course, the instructor. So what I'm going to want to do is first I'm actually going to want to find out what this is here, latest from super user and how that's rendered. So I'm going to want to go to Dreamweaver or whatever editing program I am using and I'm going to want to pull up uh, the item PHP for K2 file and here's where all the markup is and as you see here we've got K2 latest from and that's JTEX. JTEX is, is used so you can have multi-language so it just pulls from the language file and it pulls the appropriate text for K2 latest from so I'm just gonna take this real quick and copy it and now let's go to the administrator of our Joomla installation and this is Joomla 2.5 so I'm gonna go over here to the language manager and we've got English in right now and uh, let's go over to our overrides <clears throat> as you see I've already override a few things here and I'm gonna go to new to create a new override and I'm gonna search for the constant here for that and it's creating a cache now for me and I'm gonna paste that right in there and I'm gonna search and there it is K2 latest from so that's valid as we see here so I'll copy this and the language constant is latest from so now I can make it courses from and I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to save and close and now I'm going to go to the front end and I'm going to refresh the page and now we have courses from super user so this is really a nice feature they've added and once you find out about it you'll be using it all the time so I hope this tutorial was informative and we'll see you next time